Hamilton and Me is a, a book that I'm publishing is out this week on Thursday, which is based on a work journal that I kept during my time in Hamilton. So from the time I auditioned through um, getting the part and researching the part leading up to rehearsals, I kept it all the way through rehearsals. That's primarily when I keep my work journal is through rehearsals to help me with um, the, the character, the thoughts I'm having, the questions I'm having, notes and observations that I have, difficulties that I have. I write it all in my journal, it kind of helps me. So I kept it through rehearsals, all the way through preview performances. In fact, I kept it through the whole year, but the book, Hamilton and Me, basically focuses on from the time I auditioned for the part, got the part, rehearsed the part, and then up until we open. Wow. Um, so it's it's a kind of look inside what it's like to be in that experience. Everyone sees um, the the kind of uh, you know Hamilton with the big H, the show, the, the kind of pop phenomena that that that, that it is, but not. Um, not many people realise what kind of goes on behind that. When you're listening to the cast recording, it's difficult to imagine what's going on on stage at the time. And I hadn't realised that every one of the company is on stage all the time in all the songs, creating these environments, creating these situations, um, which you don't get quite from the cast recording. So when I saw it, I was completely blown away. I was like, how do they do this? How do they put this together? Um, where is the line between the choreography and the staging directing yeah. between that and the costumes and that they see it all seemed to flow so beautifully that i couldn't even see how someone would create that mm -hmm. so i think then going into rehearsals and experiencing it i could see that like any other show any other piece of theater you go step by step you go moment by moment you roll your sleeves up you do the hard work you repeat you fall down you get it wrong you get up again you have an idea you try it you discard it all of that blood sweat and tears stuff that goes into any other piece of theater goes into hamilton so yeah. the book hamilton and me um i hope will give people a bit of a glimpse about what actually goes into uh, making a show like this when people think of hamilton there's that now iconic image of the star and i think nobody really you know, there's a lot of people I've spoken to, my friends, who are say, oh, you need to watch Hamilton. Like, you know, it's not just that. When I was watching Hamilton, the feelings that I had after it were, I was very much on Aaron Burr's at the, st I, see, the thing is, I, I don't like Hamilton as a character. I was very much kind of on Team Aaron Burr, weirdly. <laughs> so. Oh, listen, Team 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 Burr is, um, I'm happy for all, all of the uh, subscribers we can get. <laughs> Thank you, Aaron Burr, sir, uh, and have a wonderful day. Pleasure.